Hello everyone, Sana here and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Before you hear, you can see the Minecraft Java Edition launcher, something that you're likely very familiar with if you play on Java Edition. However, you might notice that this is a little bit different than normal. First of all, it says Minecraft Bedrock Edition at the top of the screen, and this launcher allows you to load into pretty much any version of Bedrock Edition seamlessly and very, very quickly. As you can see, we can load into any beta that we want, any full release release and basically any version going all the way back to 01401. This is an absolutely incredible brand new launcher created by Cargym Generations and it's not quite in public release yet so consider this as like a, uh, a little exclusive showcase video. Now, as you can see, this right here is the actual Java Edition launcher, so this brand new launcher is a pretty good duplicate of what we already have, and I've been wanting something like this for absolutely years. So as you can see, we can load up the most recent Bedrock Edition beta for 1.17, and the game itself actually takes longer to load than the launcher does to function. So there you go, we got the most recent 1.17 beta, and then we can load any version that we want going all the way back to 0. 1401 and as you can see is that a launch right here and it works absolutely beautifully it is such a smooth experience and this launcher supports an absolute ton of versions for minecraft bedrock edition you can see that we have all of these releases here including full releases betas and tons of other things as well this is a fully featured launcher and it doesn't cut any corners probably one of the main reasons that you'll want to use this launcher is for easily switching between the beta versions and the main release. If you've seen my video on how to enter and leave the beta, you'll know that it's an absolute nightmare 1020% of the time. It is the worst system on the planet, but now we have this beautiful, beautiful launcher that allows us to switch to any beta and any version, and it works beautifully. So as you can see here, I can load up just a random 1.16 beta, and I haven't downloaded this at all yet so it needs to download that actual version of minecraft and then it needs to extract some files and do some things and run some magic and as you can see here it has a perfectly loaded into the 1.16 beta that i just randomly selected and it's already got all my worlds here as well i don't need to do any form of file transfers or anything a really cool feature that this launcher has that java edition doesn't have is that you can change its theme so right now we're on the original theme we can switch it over to the combat update if we want to and we can change this actual banner image here to pretty much any update that we want which is really really exciting and just really fun i don't know why that's not on the main launcher but it's such a cool little thing that you can change and play with and have some fun with this launcher also imports all of the recent news from minecraft.net so as you can see we got all the various different information there there's a little page for the actual launcher information and recent changes as you can see this this is launcher version 0009, so very, very early, but still so full featured. Oh, did I mention that it totally has a bug rock easter egg that can show up occasionally whenever you're loading a new beta? No? Well, it does! It's really cool. Moving over to some features of the launcher, you can of course create as many installations as you want, and these are fully customizable as well. You can sort through these by beta releases or full releases, and of course when you go to create your own uh, installation, you can choose whatever update you want, you can name it whatever you want, and you can choose whatever profile picture you want from all of these ones, or of course upload your own custom profile picture for that launcher as well. There's also an area that allows you to import your skins. Currently, this isn't working for me, but this will allow you to like actually see a 3D version of your skin, and that's really, really cool. Furthermore, there's also a patch notes section, so this has all of the change logs from all of the recent betas or full releases. If you click on them, it actually shows you everything that you would normally get from the Minecraft.net feedback site which is really exciting and moving into the actual settings of the launcher as well we have a different language support and this is going to be a lot of community based things so if you want to help you know contribute some translations to this you totally can and just hit up car gym on twitter or somewhere else like that and of course then you can also change and update and modify your different installations there's also of course all of the credits these are all of the lovely people that have helped build this launcher from the ground up 
up and it's really exciting. These are amazing people. Thank you everyone who has worked on this. And this is going to be such an amazing contribution to the Bedrock Edition community. So how can you get this lovely, amazing launcher? Well, currently you cannot. It is currently in like a closed beta sort of thing. However, it should be launching sometime in the next couple weeks or the next month or sometime rather soon. If you would like to stay updated about the development of this, then I would highly recommend that you follow Karjim on Twitter. As you can see, this is his Twitter. It'll be linked down below. And if you're watching this video sometime in the far future, then I'll also have a download link to where you can get this in the description as well when it fully releases. Now that's not to say that it's a perfect, currently every single antivirus on the planet flags it basically every step of the way, however that's to be expected with this type of a program, and honestly that happens with a lot of these fan made programs. I'm not too worried about it, like it happens with Amulet, it happens with MCC Tool Chest, it happens with the main Minecraft version manager, which is what I've been using to switch between Minecraft versions, and I'm not terribly worried about it, but of course if you don't feel comfortable installing something that your antivirus flags flags, then don't always play it safe. And as you can see, even Chrome, when we're trying to download it, flags it as, you know, possibly dangerous, but it's perfectly fine. I've had no issues with it. Even when trying to run the installer, your PC might flag it as dangerous. And I assume a lot of these issues will get resolved over time as development goes on. Again, this is a really early beta build that hasn't gone out to many people. So there just hasn't been a need to fix a lot of these issues as of yet. So jumping into how to actually use this thing, it is incredibly, incredibly straightforward. However, before you ever install anything Minecraft related like this, I would always recommend that you back up your com.mojang. So you want to go to this file location that is on screen right now. That way you can jump straight to your com.mojang. Your com.mojang file includes all of your Minecraft worlds, your resource packs, your skin packs, and all of the other important things. So basically go ahead and copy this entire file, paste that to your desktop or like in several different places. That way you never lose any of your data. Once you've ran the installer, you should see a screen similar to this one. And this thing is incredibly, incredibly easy to install. You don't need to know anything about computers. It's just like installing any other program. You can basically just hit next to going through every single thing about this. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, you will want to remember where this file location is because that is where a lot of the information of this launcher will be stored. And that's really all there is to it. You you don't need to mess around with any files, you don't need to give it administration permissions or anything crazy like that. Like even Foxy No Tails Launcher, you gotta do quite a bit of administrative things and really know the ins and outs of your computer to run it. But this one, you just install it and it's good to go and you don't need to worry about anything. It is such an easy to install and use process. If you want to use the launcher for the beta versions of Minecraft, you'll need to make sure that you're opted into the beta via the Xbox Insider Hub on PC. So join that and then basically just hop into the beta you may also need to uninstall Minecraft after hopping into the beta, so that is why you really want to make sure that you back up your Minecraft files. And then once you've opted into the beta, you want to go to your settings of the launcher, go to your accounts, and make sure that you're using the correct account that you actually opted into the beta with. If you have multiple Microsoft accounts on your computer, you won't be able to join the beta if you don't have the correct one selected. Now something really nice about this is the program, the launcher automatically detects which accounts you have on your computer. You don't need to sign into them at all. And then once you've done all that, you should be able to fire up the latest beta or any of the other beta versions and start playing that using the launcher. It is honestly incredibly, incredibly straightforward and it's pretty nice. A pretty important thing to know about this launcher is that the two buttons down here at the bottom, the latest beta and the latest released, those are fixed. So everything about these has their own com.mojang. So all of your worlds in latest release will be locked to latest release and all of your worlds in latest beta will be locked to latest beta. However, all of your custom installations, those all share worlds and share data. So if we make a new world in update aquatic, we'll also be able to see that new world in the 
the 1.16 beta installation that we have as well. So all of your custom things will share worlds, but the latest installation will have its own specific copy of your Minecraft data. And that is pretty much everything that you need to know about this launcher. Again, once there is a public release, you can find a download link to it in the description down below, and then you can play in any version of Minecraft that you like. You can enjoy the golden days of Bedrock Edition and get all the nostalgia for the super old watercolors. I mean, look at this. This is what water was on Bedrock Edition. You literally can't see anything. It's terrible. <laughs> uh, it's really, really good though. And of course, there's also a link to Car Gem's Twitter down below. Make sure to go follow them and support them. They're a lovely person, and this is just such a needed program for the Bedrock Edition community. I can't believe Mojang hasn't created this themselves, but Car Gem has done a beautiful job creating a very, very good launcher for Bedrock. So I hope that you enjoy this once it has a full release. Anyway, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope that you have enjoyed. If you liked the video, then of course make sure to leave a like. It helps out the video and the channel a ton. If you're new here, then consider subscribing so you don't miss future videos. And otherwise, I'll see you guys down in the comment section and in the next one. And then there was silence.